Okay, if you're working a lot with hyperlinks in your slides, here's a really good thing to know. Let's say I want to apply a hyperlink to this orange box right here. I'd right click it, choose hyperlink, click place in this document, and then I would choose the slide that I want to hyperlink to from the list that you see here, right? Well, here's the thing. The slides here are all listed by the slide number and the slide title. But what if some of my slides don't really have a title? What if I've designed them in some completely different way that doesn't include a title at all? Like if maybe the slide includes just images or a series of little text boxes, something like that. That's totally fine. They're still going to appear here in this list, but they'll look like this. Take a look at slide 12. You can see this one over here in the thumbnail doesn't have a title, so in the list it just appears as slide 12. Now this is all fine, but if you're applying lots of hyperlinks and lots of your slides don't have titles, it might get a little bit hard to efficiently choose the slides, the right slides, from this list because they'll just be listed as, you know, slide one, slide two, slide three, and so on. Now, of course, the slide thumbnail over here can help in a lot of cases to figure out which is which, but in a lot of projects, and this one is one example, many slides look pretty similar, so it can be a little bit difficult to distinguish which one you really want to hyperlink to. So here's what you can do. When you create a new slide, you can come up here to the New Slide button and click that drop down, and then use a format that includes a slide title. I'm going to use this one that says Title Only. And when the new slide gets created, you can just enter whatever descriptive text you want here for the title. Um, because the user doesn't have to see that, because look what we can do. We can just select that box and use our up arrow to move it right off of the slide canvas, see? So, whoops, back up a little bit. What that does is it makes the um, slide title still associated with this slide, but the user never has to see it. When the, when the output gets created by publisher, the slide title won't appear. But look what happens. If I go to my orange box, right click and say edit hyperlink, you can see that there's the new slide that I just created with the um, title text just the way I entered it. So doing things this way can just help your workflow a little bit if you're using a lot of hyperlinks because that title can be really handy when you're trying to select the right one. So this might make things a little bit easier, a little faster when you're working on a project with lots of hyperlinking and you want to keep certain slide titles hidden from the user.